right now I'm going to answer the age-old question, is it better to live in the city or in the country? Um, to do this, I'm going to illustrate it with a little story. So say you get, a, you get a call from your Uncle Danny that you haven't seen in a really long time. Well, you remember him being a pretty cool guy. Um, he says that he lives in Atlanta now and says, why don't you and your family come down and take a road trip to see me? Um, your family decides to do it, and you get the road. On the way there, you're on the highway, and you're passing through city town, cities and some small country towns, and um, more country towns, and then another city. Um, on the way there, you got a late start, so you decided to stop at a bed and breakfast in a really small country town. In this town, it consists of a gas station, a barber shop, um, and the bed and breakfast that you're staying in, and one restaurant. So I think this qualifies as a very small country town. Before you go to bed, you, you're sitting out on the front porch of the bed and breakfast, and you're feeling the country breeze and smelling the fresh country air. Um, there's not a lot of people at all. There's not a lot going on, but it's a very, very peaceful life. Um, the countryside is very nice and fresh, and you can see for miles around. Most country towns are like this. Um, but is this postcard idea of a country town, is it really real? Um, it's a very different experience if you're living in a country versus living in the city. The country, like I said, is a very slow and peaceful life. On the other hand, the city is a more fast-paced and exciting life. Both smell either of cows or of people. Um, let's see. In the city, there's a whole lot of people, and there's not a lot of space. While in the country, there's not as many people, so you have more open space. Um, both have a lot of positives, and both can be very good places to live. All right, so back to the story. So your, your GPS takes you to right in downtown Atlanta on Main Street. Um, you stop at a building that is an apartment building, and it, the address says apartment 605. So you go up to the sixth floor of the apartment, and Danny's there waiting to meet you. He's just as cool as you remember. Um, you hit the hay for that night and wake up the next morning. Um, when you wake up, Danny says, why don't we go downstairs where I work in the cafe downstairs and grab a bite to eat. You realize that if you're living downtown like Danny does, you can literally walk to, to where you work. Um, you can walk to anywhere, you can walk or ride your bike to pretty much anywhere you would want to go. Um, to work, to school, to grab a bike to eat, um, or to see a movie. Um, let's see. After, after you eat breakfast at the cafe, you decide to take a walk and explore downtown a little bit. While you're waiting at a crosswalk, you look to your left and you see a homeless man. And just to the left of him, you see a businessman. Um, and they're conversing in a normal conversation. Do they know each other? No, they don't. But this is something that you see every day in a city. It um, crosses um, barriers of class. Um, the homeless man, who obviously has no money, is being very friendly and just having a conversation with the rich man, who's a businessman. This is something that happens in an inclusive place of the city. The city is inclusive and not exclusive. As you explore the city more, you realize how diverse a place it is. And it's an exciting world just across Danny, Uncle Danny's doorstep. Um, the country has a very peaceful and calm life, but you might get stir-crazy seeing the only five same people every day. Is the fresh air really how it really is? No, probably not. You might be living near a pig farm in the country. Um, and that nice view, it might get a little old seeing the same view every single day. In the city, the view would be changing every single day, and it would be new. Literally. In the city, literally everything is just through your doorstep. I'm going to end on a quote um, by a lady named Margaret Mead. A city is a place where there is no need to wait for next week to get an answer from a question, or to taste the food from any country, and to find new voices to listen to, and familiar ones to listen to again. This quote just shows you the opportunity and diverse and new experiences you'll have every day in a city. Thank you.